Hey there guys and welcome back to the channel. Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, is the latest entry in George Miller's science fiction franchise, but unfortunately it may very well be the last instalment, at least for a while. The movie is already facing a major box office disappointment in a year marked by significant declines in box office performance across the board. Despite Furiosa's otherwise positive reception, this outcome, while unexpected and disheartening, does make some sense. The Mad Max franchise is well known among certain groups of moviegoers, but is far from being a major pop culture staple on the scale of Marvel, DC properties or even Star Wars and Star Trek. In fact, the last two movies in the Mad Max saga were box office disappointments themselves, primarily due to their budgets. Therefore, it's highly questionable whether Furiosa ever had a chance at becoming a hit. Released at the end of May 2024, Furiosa A Mad Max Saga came nearly 10 years after its predecessor, Mad Max Fury Road. Ironically, it's a prequel to that film, featuring Anya Taylor-Joy as a younger Furiosa. Despite receiving positive reviews and being praised by fans and critics alike as a worthy entry in the franchise, the movie has struggled to draw audiences to the theatres. Among its admirers are notable Japanese creators like Hideo Kojima and Tetsuhara, the creator of Fist of the North Star, an anime and manga series heavily inspired by Mad Max. Sadly, this acclaim hasn't translated into box office success, making Furiosa one of the many financial misfires at the 2024 box office. So far, Furiosa has grossed $145 million globally, falling short of its $168 million production budget, not to mention additional marketing costs. The general rule of thumb in the film industry is that movies need to make twice their production budget to break even and three times to become truly profitable. This means Furiosa Mad Max Saga needed to reach at least $420 million to be considered a hit. Given its current performance, even $200 million seems unlikely, positioning the movie as a major box office bomb. The original Mad Max movie, released in 1979, had a modest production budget of just 400,000 Australian dollars, less than 250,000 US dollars. Despite this, it went on to make 100 million US dollars at the box office, becoming a major hit. Its sequel, Mad Max 2, also known as The Road Warrior, was made for 4 million Australian dollars, around 3 million US dollars, and earned 12 times that amount at the box office. These low budget dystopian films set a precedent for the series, which became known for their high profitability relative to their production costs. Hey there guys, Ryan here. I just wanted to do a quick shameless plug to let you all know I do in fact have a Twitter page here, ReviewFlix. Make sure you come over and join our page so you can stay up to date with all the latest pop culture news that's going on with Marvel, DC, Star Wars, etc. And also we'll be updating all the content that we have from our YouTube channel onto our Twitter page as well so you can stay informed with everything going on in the world of pop culture. That would really help me out guys and would really go a long way to supporting my content and my YouTube channel. Thank you so much, let's get back to the video. Unfortunately, once the series began to deviate from this successful formula, it set the stage for the financial struggles faced by Furiosa. Mad Max Beyond the Thunderdome, released in 1985, had a production budget of 10 million US dollars, although it was positively received and made 36 million US dollars, the increased budget prevented it from being considered a financial hit. Following this, the franchise went on a 30 year hiatus until the release of Mad Max Fury Road in 2015. Mad Max Fury Road was highly acclaimed for its special effects and car based action, with many considering it to be the best in the series. However, it came with a significant budget increase, reportedly costing over 185 million US dollars to produce. Despite making 380 million dollars at the box office, it was viewed as a flop due to its high production costs. This film only turned a profit through DVD sales, a market that is much less lucrative today, making it unlikely that Furiosa will be able to follow the same path to financial recovery. The future of the Mad Max franchise and any other further appearances by Furiosa remains uncertain. Mainstream audiences have shown little interest in the series, which might be too niche and quirky to sustain a consistent run of blockbusters. This lack of interest extends to Furiosa herself, who hasn't captured the public's imagination either, with or without Mad Max. 
However, there is a potential way to save the franchise by lowering its budget. The original trilogy was devoid of the extravagant and expensive vehicle scenes that have come to categorise the more recent entries. By stripping away these costly elements, the franchise can return to its roots, telling more grounded and less over-the-top stories. This approach would significantly reduce production costs, which is crucial for achieving box office profitability. Such a strategy could pave the way for another Furiosa spin-off, or even a new entry that moves the story beyond Mad Max Fury Road. A final film could bring a sense of closure to the series, potentially showcasing the last days of Max Rokotansky, Imperator Furiosa, or both. This definitive ending could be more satisfying than concluding on a financial disappointment like Furiosa. Daddy! In the current state of the franchise, a back to basics approach that tells the more personally yet yeah, still story with Mad Max and Furiosa might be the best way to move forward. This strategy not only has the potential to turn a profit, but also to give the beloved franchise a fitting conclusion, honouring its legacy while delivering a final impactful chapter. So guys, with that down, what do you think of this disappointing news that Furiosa is continuing to bomb at the box office? Did you enjoy the movie and were you hoping to see the franchise continue into the future? Whatever your thoughts may be, we want to hear from you down below in the comment section. So smash that like button, subscribe for more videos, thank you so much for watching and until next time, I will see you then.